What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice and I want to come to you guys with another video. So, Eagles rookie running back Miles Sanders had a whole lot to say about Eagles um, assistant head coach slash uh, running back coach Deuce Staley. Um, I thought what he had to say about Deuce Staley was very, very interesting. I'm going to read exactly what he said on Deuce Staley, and of course, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Here's what our Miles Sanders had to say about um, Deuce Staley and his relationship with Deuce, with Deuce Staley so far. Uh, he's very hard on me. He wants the best out of me. I like being critiqued uh, real hard, so I don't like being so I don't like being comfortable. Um, he's very critical on certain stuff we do. He focuses on he focuses on the little things like finishing plays. When we get the ball, focusing on our steps, formations, just knowing what we got to do. Just being a professional. Coach Deuce is a smart is a smart dude. He loves football. He loves talking football. He's very energetic, and he loves the passion of football. And that's what I really like about him. He loves teaching, and I love learning. I feel like I'm very comfortable, too. So I think me and him will have a very good relationship. And I think the sky's the limit for whatever happens. I think for me, I like to get better at everything, at everything really. It's not really just a, spe a specific thing, but everything I want to get better at something little by little and just be the best player I can be. That's the main thing. So that was um like I said that was Miles Sanders right there speaking on Deuce Staley and the relationship that those two have been developing so far and you knowing um you know um, OTAs um you know rookie mini camp so what I love about it man I love that um I absolutely love that Miles Sanders you know he um he wants to be coach he wants to learn and what better what better person to learn from than you know a great coach like Deuce Staley. Deuce Staley has a great reputation around the league. You know he's been with the, with the Eagles for so many years. Obviously, prior to coaching being a running back for us, but um, every running back that I've seen that's played for Deuce, you know that's 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 been coached by Deuce, have all had really nice things. Have great things to say about Deuce. You know, of course, Legarrette Blunt. You know, Legarrette Blunt was advocating for. Do stated to get the promotion off as a coordinator, which personally I agree with um LeGarrette Blunt. I still to this day feel like Deuce Staley should have been the Eagles off as a coordinator. But it is what it is, man. But just the amount of respect that um players have for this guy, man, that's absolutely great. It's absolutely great. And I love that Mal Sanders wants to learn. He's not he's not one of those young kids who comes to the league and think he knows it all. And he doesn't need nobody to coach him. He, he, he's just gonna go out there and you know um dominate on the field you know so i love i love the fact this kid does not have an ego he wants to be learned he wants to be trained you know teach whatever he wants to learn and there's no there's nobody better to teach this kid than um do staley do staley um was you know a big key part of the reason why the eagles drafted miles sanders he was according to reports i made a video about this that um do staley was very high on miles sanders from almost day one, so that that caused the Eagles to really look in Miles Sanders' direction, um, and of course we end up drafting this kid. And to this day, I still feel like this is the best pick that we've had in the 2019 draft. I like Andre Dillard as well, um, or Sega White. So I like that guy as well. But Miles Sanders was that guy I wanted more than anybody. And normally, I don't get what I want when it comes to um, you know the players. You know, I normally don't get what I want in the draft. But I can't. But this time around, man, I got exactly what I wanted. And that was Miles Sanders, and I think Miles Sanders down the road has the potential to be a number one feature back down the road. I honestly do feel that way. I'm very. That's how high I am on this kid. I think he has the potential to be uh, a number one feature back, and I think he will. And I and I love the kid's attitude. He, he you know he said that he wants to be. He wants to do more in Philadelphia than what Deshaun McCoy did. And that's saying a lot because of Deshaun McCoy, as we all know, is the Eagles' all-time leader rusher. But a kid that's that hungry, that determined to be great, just a lot of great football ahead, great times ahead for Eagle fans, man. If you know, with a, a kid with a kid like that, man, and the fact that he wants to be he wants to be taught and he wants to learn, he's learning from one of the very best in Deuce Staley, a guy who, like I told you guys before. I think Deuce State is going to be a head coach down the road. I honestly do feel like he's that damn good of a coach. I think he's going to get his opportunity, and he's going to deserve it, plain and simple. He, um, he, I, I see I see Deuce Staley as head coach material, and I think down the road, hopefully no time soon, with the selfish, 
the selfish part of me saying that, of course, no time soon, but at some point he's going to be a head coach, and I'm going to be very happy for Deuce because Deuce is definitely paying his dues. He's working his way up the ladder as a coach, and he's going to get the opportunity. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Somebody's going to give Deuce Staley that chance to be a head coach, and he's going to be very well deserving of it. I love to hear that things are going well so far between him and Miles Sanders. Let's hope it continues that way. Let's hope let's hope that um, Deuce Staley continues to push the hell out of Miles Sanders to get the very best out of this kid, which I know which I know Deuce is gonna do that. Deuce is one hell of a coach. He's gonna he's gonna push Miles Sanders to bring out his full potential. And like I told you, man, the sky's the limit for Miles Sanders. I truly do believe that. I think he will be the Eagles starter running back down the road. Um the, his rookie year. Uh, he he'll probably be the number number three running back, but I think down the road this kid has the potential to be the number the number one running back for the Eagles, and I can't wait to see this kid on the field, you know, during the 2019 season. Well, I can't wait to see this whole team on the field in the 2019 season. There's so much talent on this team. Um, the NFL Network has the Eagles ranked going to the season as the third best offense. So yeah, man, it's, it's a lot it's a lot of weapons on this offense, man. There's no excuse for this team not to be a, at least a playoff team in 2019. And I think Miles Sanders is going to be one hell of a weapon for Carson Wentz. Not just in the running game, but also but also coming out of the backfield as well. So I'm very, very pumped, man. I'm very, very excited about what the future holds for Miles Sanders. I truly am. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun to watch this kid you know, continue to grow, continue to learn, and go on to have one hell of an NFL career. Same thing can be said about Deuce, man. Deuce, Deuce State is going to have – he's already had a very good coaching career, but he's going to – but I, like I told you guys, man, I think he's going to have a – he's going to have a um, a head coaching career down the road. I honestly do – that's how good I think Deuce Staley is as a coach. But, and I love that he's coaching up this kid, Miles Sanders, and pushing Miles Sanders to be his very, very best. That that No, I love it, man. I absolutely love it because we want, we want the very best out of Miles Sanders. He wants the very best out of himself, you know, so um, continue to push him, douche man, bring the, all the potential that we know that Miles Sanders has out. And I made that video where these fools said that Miles Sanders was the worst draft pick by the Eagles. <laughs> Complete crap. Complete crap. And I know Miles Sanders is going to prove that in 2019. I, I know for a fact that Miles Sanders is going to prove in 2019 that that was absolutely a great pickup. And I, I, that's just how much I believe in Miles Sanders. So c continue to bust your ass out there, Miles Sanders. Work hard, man. Um, I can't wait to see you on the field in 2019. And I'm glad to hear the relationship between you and Deuce Staley has gotten off to a good start. Let's make sure that continues, man, because, you know, I, I, our, running back group, our running back room in general, man, is one hell of a room, man. That Just so much, you know, so much talent at running back now. Just think about a couple of months ago, we were all concerned about what 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 do we have at running back? Like what were we gonna have? But now we have probably the best running back uh, trio in the league right now. I would say we do, man. That that running back room is absolutely loaded. Jordan Howard, Corey Clement, Miles Sanders. You got Wendell Smallwood, um, Boston, you know Boston Scott. You got him. Um, you know you got you got you got um, Josh Adams. Possibly Darren Sproles, who makes who's gonna who's gonna make up his his mind sometime this month, but just so much you know so much talent in that running back room, and I can't wait to see these guys. You know I can't wait to see these guys battle it out. You know throughout throughout the summer to earn that you no know, to earn the, to earn the um, attention of the coaches and of course that roster spot. I already told you guys who I think is gonna be the three to four running backs the Eagles are gonna keep, but competition like I've always told you guys, man. Competition brings the very, very best out of players. So, hell, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. But Miles Sanders is a kid that got a good head on his shoulder. By the sounds of it, he has no ego, <clears throat> and he wants to learn. He wants to be coached. He wants to. He wants his very best, to the, you know, the full potential to come out of him. And like I just told you guys, man, nobody's better than bringing out the, you know, at bringing out the, the full potential of a player than Deuce Staley. Big Deuce. And I know, and I know, I, and I know, Big Deuce is gonna bring the very best out of Miles Sanders. So that's all I had to say, man. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and tell me what you guys think in the comment section. You know, as always, go Birds, man. Can't wait for the 2019 season to get here. 
Go Birds, Fly Eagle Fly, Sparky Nights 9-1 is out of here. Peace.